couple years ago, the brand new Performing Arts Center suggested that we have a show over here, and we thought it was a great idea with a brand new facility, and so we talked about it and thought that the best thing that we could do would be to have a, a senior show, at least for starters. Yeah, yeah, we've done a senior show probably for about 10 years now. On and off, yeah. Various places throughout Springboro, but we thought this is a great location to show off what our seniors have done and uh, send them off with a little party. A couple of, for a couple of years we had it in Centerville, and you know, we always thought how cool would it be to be able to have it in Springboro, not knowing that this beautiful facility was going to be built. Well, it's all senior work and their AP studio art portfolios were due last week so they had to send their five quality best pieces off to be judged and whether they get college credit or not for that work. So then they had to pick another piece of the, the 15 pieces that they worked on this year. The kids get a grade for being students at the school and then they get a grade by the AP board which is just as important and significant. So it's a lot of pressure for them to kind of gather their, their work. And that's also a major part of their sort of thinking process, like I need to get this grade, I need to get this stuff off. And then we're like, well, we also want you to get involved in this other thing. And so they have to do, do this as well. It's a busy time of year for them, but they were excited about having their work displayed here. And fortunately, these are really neat kids with really good artists, and so they, they have more than five things. But it's hard to figure out for a lot of them which to send off. And we don't even always agree with them. Sometimes we think, you should send this, and they, they send that instead. So. so for the AP board, they have to come up with a theme for their artwork, and they want it to be a, a kind of question. Um, is what they call it, an inquiry. Um, and a lot of them have, have picked mental health issues, you know, of how they've dealt with mental health. And I think now through COVID, um, these kids have to figure out how to, how to function in society Cope. again. Cope. It's a pretty yes. profound topic. I mean, and, and it really does hit kids. I mean, some were remote, some were in school, some were remote a year and a half ago for a while, and they had to sort of sort all that stuff out. And I mean, we never had to deal with that when we were 17 and 16 and 18, so I, I can't imagine. Yeah. What, what the art room is always a place, I think, of therapy, too. I mean, we have critique every other week with the kids, and it seems like it almost becomes this group therapy, you know, talking about their pieces and how, you know, they've been impacted and, and put it into their artwork. I thought they just went for the crepes that you make. <laughs> we do. We often make crepes for <laughs> critique time, I, too. I'd be in there talking about all kinds of mental, <laughs> mental issues if I could. I mean, we're happy for them and excited for all the, you know, talking about college and dorms and everything that's the next chapter of their lives. But, but it's a little sad. Yeah. I mean, they, they usually come back to visit um, the year after they graduate. A lot of times after that, they, they kind of move on and grow up and don't come back as often. But. And we're both veteran teachers. We've seen a handful of kids graduate. And, and you know, these days with social media, uh, for all that it's good and all that's bad about it, a lot of these kids keep in touch with us, and um, and it's just great, really, to see what what they do. But yeah, you know, you get to know these kids after three or four years of teaching them. You definitely get a bond with them, and I think in art, it's a different vibe than a lot of other classes. So you might have a chance to connect in you know other ways that that other classes don't offer. I don't know. I'm not teaching math or science, but the art room is definitely more chatter and more interaction. I mean, I think a big part of it is is just their mental well-being and figuring out a place, you know, it's a good outlet. So hopefully they've they've come to love it and enjoy it and want to continue, you know. And you can always find a shop that has a pottery wheel or uh, some painting. And I mean, if they enjoy it now, there's no reason why they won't enjoy it when they're doing other things. And, and it is a, a therapeutic uh, avenue for kids to sort of express themselves. We definitely encourage it, um, absolutely. It's growing, and I think this is going to be a, the, the performing arts center that you have helped, you know, the city has built, is going to encourage that. It's been really fun to see. I know the last show that was here, um, kids got involved with it, so it's, it's encouraging, it's exciting. And we have art shows at our school, and it's a huge thing. It's um, kindergarten, this was kindergarten through mm -hmm. 12, and mm -hmm. We have so many more parents. I don't know if it's because parents are like, we could finally go back out and be in public and be with people, but we had an incredible turnout and beautiful art. 
and it wasn't all just like the best of seniors. I mean, third grade and kindergarten. Their art is beautiful, and it, these kids enjoy it. And they want to go see it, and their parents want to see them with it. So uh, it's you know, we see Springboro getting more artsy uh, every year. All right, um, this is my pot. Uh, it's a flower vase. I uh, didn't really have inspiration with it. I just kind of, as I built it, I just kind of went with whatever I felt, and this is what I came up with. I enjoy most about art, being able to relax and just kind of um, make pieces, and sometimes you don't always know where it's going, and you just kind of figure it out along the way. After high school, I'm going to the University of Cincinnati's STAT program for communication design. Oh, the art program's been so much fun. It's been my favorite part of high school, and I've got some of the best friends from this program, and I've just had so much fun exploring different medias, and um, the teachers are amazing as well. Today, this piece is called Drowning in Perfectionism. It is about my experience with being a perfectionist. I am very much a perfectionist in everything that I do, and it's, I, it's a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing, and in here I depicted uh, you know, how it's a bad thing and how it affects my daily life. My inspiration for this was just being a perfectionist and um, how I have to deal with it every single day and, you know, kind of an insight of what it feels like in my head because I feel like a lot of people who don't experience it don't really understand how much it affects someone. After graduation, I will be going to the University of Colorado Boulder in Colorado and I will be studying either physics or aerospace engineering and I will be joining the Air Force ROTC program. To me the arts program in Springboro is really important because it gives me a way to continue doing art. It's a very important passion of mine that I've always been, I've always been very interested in, in art ever since I was a kid although I may not be doing it past um, high school I do continue to do it as a hobby and I'm really glad to have it because I don't think I would be doing all these huge pieces um, if I wasn't in the program just because this gives me a way to really focus on my talents and also you know explore more about what I'm I'm not really good at and get better at them. What I have on display today is um, I had taken a canvas and I s broke some mirrors and stuck it onto there and then I went over with acrylic paint and painted a self-portrait um, where the finger is touching and essentially like theoretically breaking the glass. I kind of like, I saw the canvas um, in like Hobby Lobby and I immediately thought it kind of looked like a mirror and so I was like what if I did this and it kind of covers like the topic of self-destruction and self-jeopardization. In the past, be struggling with like mental health, kind of hiccups in the way of life, like moving across the country and stuff. And so I wanted to kind of touch base on like how I was feeling during that time of year. So I'm going to major in psychology at University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> So what I have on display today is a basically a portrait. It's supposed to, I use myself as a reference photo for it because I usually take my own pictures for my pieces. But um, it's basically supposed to represent like masking your emotions and like hiding and like being like you're fine but like in reality you're not. I really enjoy doing like scribble portraits where I just do like a continuous line and it makes like a person and um, that was the first one I ever did and it really started me on that so yeah. Basically I kind of made all of my pieces having like a different meaning behind them like a deeper one just to like show people that like other people that you see every day go through the same things that you do. So I tried to put that in every single one of my pieces, just showing that like, you know, you don't know everything that's going on behind someone's closed doors. That. After high school, I am going to go into cosmetology school. So doing hair and makeup and stuff like that. I mean, I've always been artistic and I enjoy doing those things. So I feel like it's something I really enjoy doing and it's a very good outlet. So um, I plan to continue doing art after high school because I've always really enjoyed doing it and it's always been a passion of mine. It's kind of like an outlet, so yes. The Springboro Art Program means that, like, to me, it really just gives everybody an opportunity to do what they like and everyone gets to do something different than, like, it's not like a, 
set thing, like a project you have to complete and everyone's is the same. Like you get to explore new options and use new materials and they provide that for you. I think it's a really good place to like grow with your art. So I just have this graffiti tag piece. It's um, just like street art. Um, I like to, it wasn't really, I didn't have anything in particular that I was thinking of or doing anything. It was just kind of as I went, I just went over and just kept adding layers. Um, I think of like, I like look at other artwork before me and I kind of like base what I'm doing off of certain or what, what mood I'm in or what I'm reading or whatever. So I was looking at a lot of uh, Basquiat who's like uh, from the 80s and stuff and who did a lot of street art graffiti stuff. So I just kind of like wanted to emulate that I guess. Um, just that feel, that like raw feel where it's really like gritty, hard. And I look at it and it kind of just is like chaos. It's not really, it doesn't have a true meaning and stuff. I kind of just feel agitated or something like I'm, you know, like I'm angry. I'm going to uh, UC um, uh, Linder College of Business for finance and business analytics. Well, hopefully, uh, you know, I would love to paint in the future and stuff. Uh, I think, I don't think uh, a career teaching art would suit me. I don't think I have the patience for that, but I think if I get to a point where I have enough money and I can invest and I can invest in other people's artwork and stuff and what I see, like things I like and stuff and I want to support other people's dreams and almost like giving people scholarships and stuff, I want to give people other opportunities that I didn't have maybe and stuff. I think it's the angle for this. I just kind of like doodled graphic design, just kind of like daydream in class and just write stuff down in on the side of my notebooks and stuff. But it kind of just gave me a place to channel what I was thinking and like moods and try to like experiment with things I never would have regularly, I think, yeah. So on display today I have this dog. It's actually a character from one of my favorite games, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Her name is Isabel. I don't know if I had any particular inspiration for it. I knew I wanted to do something fun, a little cartoony. I uh, hadn't worked with Clay much before since elementary school. So I had been playing the game a lot and she was just one of my favorite characters. She's really cute so I just wanted to use her. I mean honestly I was really proud of how well I was able to work with Clay. Again since not having used it since maybe elementary school. So when I look at it, I'm just extremely happy with how it turned out because it was exactly what I envisioned. So after high school, I'm going to Capital University and I'm going to be playing on the women's soccer team. Um, I'm going to be majoring in marketing and I'm looking at a minor in communications. I hope I can fit art in. Um, it's never been a main focus, but it's always been on the side and I do enjoy having it. So I'm, I'm hoping I can find a way to incorporate it. The Swimbro Art Program has always been really welcoming and um, it's given a lot of open-mindedness to creativity and using different mediums, meeting different people. I was just thinking today that um, general classes like art give an opportunity for a lot of students to meet other people that might not be in their core classes. So I really enjoy meeting a wide range of people. 